a movie that's been crying out to be made. Brokeback Mountain is a fresh take on the great American love story. Two guys living together, no way. Action! Director Ang Lee has Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal going where few Hollywood leading men have gone before. It's nobody's business but ours. I'm always looking for films that go after an emotional journey. But I always like to try and bare my soul a little bit. Now, the inside story on a film that's been dubbed the gay cowboy movie, but is definitely so much more. When you find a cliche, you'll always find something more complex at the bottom of it. <laughs> okay, you take the shot there. We'll go behind the scenes and discover the trials of shooting in the great outdoors. We rough them up, make them be realistically ranch hands. The mysterious ways of director Ang Lee. Annie and I were rehearsing and Ang goes, you go together like milk and water. And I was like, I have no idea what that means. And the real story of the most talked about kiss in recent movie history. It's always awkward doing love scenes in movies, whether it be with a guy or with a girl. Cast and crew reveal all about this cinematic labor of love. It's a universal and unique American love story. It's shocking. You forget that movies could be this raw. <laughs> Next on the Logo Movie Special, Brokeback Mountain. Woo-wee! Yeah! It's easily one of the most highly anticipated films of 2005. Brokeback Mountain is an epic American love story told with stunning cinematography and what may very well be career-defining performances. Oscar-winning director Ang Lee's latest masterpiece was based on the short story by Pulitzer Prize winner Annie Proulx, a heartbreaking tale of impossible love. One of the things we said from the very beginning was we're not going to make a movie which shies away from what this movie is about, which is, at its heart and soul, a love affair between two men. Jack Twist. Yes. The film begins in 1963 and follows the complex romance between a Wyoming ranch hand and a Texas rodeo cowboy played by Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal. The two young guys meet on the job, they're ranch hands herding sheep up on Brokeback Mountain. It's a mountain where they're alone and they're private and no one knows what's going on. As much to their surprise as to the audiences, they fall in love. Run them sheep off again if you don't quiet down. I think everybody in their lives probably has made one connection with somebody that pulls you completely out of yourself. And that's what happens to these two guys. It's a sort of a yin and a yang and the two create a whole together. It's very forbidden for them, both, you know, in society and especially in Ennis's mind. This is a one-shot thing we got going on here. There's nobody business but ours. They push each other's buttons a lot, but they also understand each other in a way that um, they've never experienced with anyone else. Well, I guess we'll see you around, huh? Okay. And at the end of the summer, they leave each other, each go off and get married. I now pronounce you, man. And wife. They each have families, children, wives. Jack twist. Five years later, they meet again, and the love is even more intense. And they begin a 20-year affair, which they keep hidden from everyone. And it's Del Mar, played by Heath Ledger. Uh, he's a, your typical Western character, very brooding, doesn't speak much because he has a lot of fear in who he is. Two guys living together, no way. He was battling the beliefs of his father and, and how they inherit him from expressing or loving. Ennis is somebody that keeps his feelings so trapped and pushed down that it's almost like when he talks, the words are punching themselves out of his mouth. You know, we can get together once in a while, way the hell out in the middle of nowhere, but... Once in a while. Jack Twist, played by uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, is the knowingly romantic character, embracing love, uh, wanting to make a change, very optimistic. You know, it could be like this, just like this, always. He's the character who keeps saying, I want to make this work, I want to keep this going, um, despite whatever obstacles that are thrown in their way. Jack, uh, 
I don't know what to say. Jack and Ennis try to live straight lives, but as their relationship secretly continues, they find themselves very much at odds with the world around them. Jack, this is my wife, Elma. Howdy. Hello. That world is really the woman. It's Michelle Williams and it's Anne Hathaway and Linda Cardellini. And all these wonderful actresses who embody all the other tragedies that are going on as this main story unfolds. The heartbreaking impact begins when Ennis's wife, Alma, played by Michelle Williams, sees Ennis and Jack together. I think in Alma's world and in her time, the word gay didn't exist. And so that kiss that she's a witness to only leads to more confusion for it. It's not the end of anything. It's only the beginning of more questions. Her world is literally turned upside down when she figures out that her husband is actually in love with her, someone else, and it's a man. It was the great betrayal in her life. Jack Twist. Jack Nasty. After Ennis and Alma are no longer together, Ennis dates local waitress Cassie, played by Linda Cardellini. Cassie comes into Ennis's life after all his disappointments, after really kind of messing the whole thing up. And she represents maybe a chance that he could somehow make it work. As you see them through time, she really falls in love with him and ends up having a broken heart because he can't really give his heart to her. Ennis, girls don't fall in love with fun. Anne Hathaway plays Jack's wife, Laureen, a tough Texas cowgirl turned businesswoman. Laureen begins as a kind of fiery uh, predator. She's a Texan rodeo queen, and as life goes on, it uh, turns out that she and her husband don't have as much love for each other as she thought. Theirs was a marriage of convenience, so she winds up um, becoming a little embittered. It's funny, isn't it? Husbands don't never seem to want to dance with their wives. Bringing this multi-layered story to life wasn't easy. The process began in 1997 when Brokeback Mountain, the short story, was published in The New Yorker. A great short story is like a gut punch. Basically, Annie Prue comes out, tickles you under the chin, and then just pulls back and just knocks you out. It grabbed the attention of Pulitzer Prize-winning author Larry McMurtry and his writing partner, Diana Osana. As soon as I read that story, I knew that this was a story that would affect many, many people. And I felt very compelled to get it out into the world. My first reaction actually was I wish I had written it. The screenplay was well received, but Larry and Diana couldn't get anybody to actually make it. It had been circulating in the business and was already known as the greatest unproducible screenplay ever written. It was the most perfect script I'd ever read, and I think that everybody shared that sentiment. It was beautiful and flawless. Enter director Ang Lee. When I read it, I was choked up and very inspired and very much wanting to make the movie because it was written like an epic. As soon as Aang came on to the project, I was like, I'll do anything to be in this movie, because I knew what he would strive for. His movies are extraordinary. Action! Oh, yeah? Oh, he said that mare couldn't throw you. Got luck. Larry and I had envisioned Heath in the role of Ennis for several years. The level of complexities within the character of Ennis were irresistible. I knew that in order to portray Ennis Del Mar, I would have to mature as an actor and mature as a person. For the guys, is basically, I didn't audition them. I know their work. I know they're fine actors. Uh, it's not a hard decision, very quick decision. After seven years of struggle and false starts, Brokeback Mountain had its cast in place and was much closer to becoming a reality. I was very excited by the prospect of something like this entering the mainstream, especially with Jake and Heath attached to it. I think mainly the anxieties were living up to the beauty of the story. It was a perfect script and a perfect director attached to it, and I didn't want to be the one to screw it up. Coming up, Heath draws on his cowboy country upbringing. I grew up in Western Australia. There's certainly a lot of ranch hands. I kind of knew how to fit into these shoes. Next on the Logo Movie Special, Brokeback Mountain. director Ang Lee cast Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal as the leads in Brokeback Mountain. He put the two rising stars to work. Hard work. 
Eng really is a stickler for research and detail. His actors should be students of the period and students of the culture. He really insists on it. Ready, sir? Yeah. All set up front. First off, Heath and Jake had to learn all about ranch life. Keith and I went to cowboy boot camp. We rough them up to make them be realistically ranch hands. They did it. Everything. The riding and the wood chopping and the making camp and the herding. They did it all. I really didn't know anything about horses. Keith knows tons about horses and he was kind of like just walking through it. Jake should be a little bit ahead of Keith. I know how to ride a horse. I grew up in Western Australia. There's certainly a lot of ranch hands, and they all kind of walk, talk, and speak the same. I kind of knew how to fit into these shoes. You want to watch it there? That horse has a low startle point. They really wanted to own these parts, and they, they fought hard to kind of physically embody and be those characters. <laughs> The men weren't the only ones who got in touch with their rustic sides. I prepared for Lorene by taking horseback riding lessons. I actually trained for two months before I got on the set. If I do say so myself, I got good. There it goes, good. Nice. I flew into Billings, Montana, and met the dialect coach there, Joy. In Texas, we say thank you. K-E-W-Q. We had a rental car. We went through Wyoming and we tooled around looking for all these um, towns that were mentioned in the story and, and we just watched people and listened to people. While the actors were becoming one with the land, the crew scouted locations to capture the feel of Wyoming cowboy country. Usually I fashion my movie in my head while I was doing location scouting. Start imagining your scenes and gradually you start to see the movie. We wanted to avoid the notion of the quaint western town. These were economically depressed towns that these characters inhabited and we wanted to express that in the locations and in the sets and contrast that to the freedom of the mountains. <laughs> and crew headed north of the border to Calgary to begin making Ang's vision come to life. Hold oh, on there. Okay, you take the shot there. Ang is a beautiful, beautiful person, a complex, quiet, mysterious character. There's a real benevolence in the way he makes his movies. So you think that the people would be um, elderly or elderly. more righteously looking? He once said that he's more comfortable in the lives he's portraying, the stories he's telling, than in his own. And you really feel that in the level of investigation he takes into his projects. Action! Ang Lee is great at getting these performances, I think, because he's so specific. Playback, please. Checking the gate. He doesn't say too much, but when he does, it's somewhat kind of poetic and profound. I'm sort of a non-verbal communicator. I remember him holding my hand a lot or looking in my eyes and sort of making faces, but there weren't really a lot of words exchanged. Annie and I were rehearsing for um, one of our scenes together, and Ang goes, you know, you go together like milk and water. And he was like, oh, yeah, beautiful, totally, totally. And I was like, what does that mean? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Woo-wee! Yeah! Aang drew huh? riveting performances out of his cast. It didn't hurt that no matter which actors happened to be on set that day, they were all talented rising stars. It was wonderful working with Jake. There's no competition in him. He's there to help everyone around him make a good movie. He's the kind of guy who wears his heart on his shoulder, you know. He's very quiet and really sensitive in a lot of ways. I figured I could drop the girls off with you. Yes. Michelle is an incredible actor, incredibly professional, incredibly focused and deep. And we really enjoyed working with each other, obviously. <laughs> he took care of not only himself, but everybody around him, making sure that everybody had a creative environment to work in. I ain't afraid. Jake Gyllenhaal is an actor's actor. When you act with him, he really is there to help you and catch you and push you when you need to be pushed. It was like a partnership. She was a great teammate, like a totally great teammate. Although they all made it look easy, the Brokeback team had to deal with some challenging obstacles. Watch your lens there, guys. I mean, we shot at like the highest point in um, Alberta. I guess it's easier for the actors because we just sit around in chairs. <laughs> I'm sure it was really tough for the crew lugging all their equipment and stuff. We spent a lot of time waiting, you know, sitting there alone. I think it really helped the movie and helped the performances. Uh... 
While Heath and Jake were totally professional, there were some actors on set who just wouldn't cooperate. Camera in there, please. 